morning, good morning. Oh, I got some eyebrows off. Good morning, welcome to another episode. I think I'm a little early this morning. That's all right, I'm up, I'm ready. It's the early edition, early dose. Good morning to you, happy Saturday. And um, yeah, uh, let's talk about winning games or actually how not to lose at Mexican Train. Now, I don't know if you've heard of that game before. Maybe you've played some dominoes. <laughs> we played it last night and I'm gonna get into that in just a moment. Let me know when you're here, when you come on live, if you come on, good morning, Vinny. Um, is uh, what's your favorite game that you like to play? Even if you catch this later, if you maybe slept in, maybe you're playing Dominoes or Mexican Train up uh, and you were up late last night, but I'd love to know what your favorite game um, that you enjoy playing. Good morning, Wendy, to you. And if you come on here live, just say good morning. I'd love to hear from you and tell me if you play board games. What's your favorite board game? Do you play cards? Do you play Mexican Train? Do you play, maybe you're a little older, maybe you play Bridge. I've never played that before. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend anybody. Um, and you're like, oh, well, you play Dominoes. Well, we played, I play Mexican Train. And I'm going to tell you that... Um, I'm gonna actually share with you how not to lose. How not to lose. And basically you gotta do everything that I didn't do because I lost miserably. In fact, I'll even share you. We didn't even play through the whole thing. And if you know how to play, I won't, I'll give you maybe a scenario. That's my number right there. I got 227, um, 227. Now, when you get more points, you lose. Um, I was left, and that's how much was left after we played three, four, five, six rounds. We played six rounds of Mexican Mexican train route. Actually, over we had some friends over last night, and we were playing that. And I have to just tell you, this is really, I'm going to share with you just a bit about how it relates to life in a moment. But um, let me know what you got as far as, uh, good morning, uh, Pinochle, Pinochle. What's your favorite game? Good morning, Michael. Good morning, Wendy. Um, I'd love to hear what your favorite game is. So here we are. <laughs> we playing some Mexican train. You know, these little dominoes. And if you know anything about it, right, you get, ooh, these are the ones you don't want to end up with right here. You see these? You don't want to end up with those. Uh, and uh, anyway, we played last night. We had a good time. And um, <laughs> and I realized, now, I'm good at some games. Mexican train is not. And the object of the game, let's get into it. So good morning. If you're coming on here live, let me know what your favorite game is. If you play dominoes or play Mexican train, it's actually really, really fun. And the object is you get a certain amount of dominoes. You get 15 dominoes. We played with four. There was four of us. And you go around, and then in dominoes, you know, you have to link them up. And you start, you see who has doubles, and you start with that. And that's the engine of the train. And then you work off the engine of the train, and you try to match up the dominoes. If you've ever played, you have to match. Let's see if I can get like ones here. Let's see if it's this and this. No, not in here. But let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to see if I can pull a couple. Yeah, so like you would match up like this, and you would match up. Oops, let me see here. You match up here, and you match up this. And then the object is to get rid of all your dominoes. And that's pretty much the name of the game. Now, the Mexican train is you would play one. If you can't play on the train itself, you would set your own train up and you can actually play if you have that same thing. So anyway, I'm not gonna get into all the rules because that's not what I'm here to talk about. But how not to lose, how not to lose. It's really kind of strategic, right? Like you wanna kind of line up your dominoes. It's actually kind of fun, but I'll dare. I'm just gonna admit, I suck at it. I got I was I was the one that always had the, the dominoes left over. I definitely was not strategic. And here, here's what happened is when you're left, like the person that runs out, the last person or the first person to get rid of all their dominoes wins as far as that round. And then the rest of the people, if you have dominoes left over, you have to count up how many of these you have left. So like when you start using your dominoes and you have to line them up, if you can't use them, you can't use, you got to take another domino and then get any, anyway, I'm giving you probably the butchered version. But at the end, the person that uses all their dominoes and puts them down, they win. They have zero points. Now, the goal is to have minimal points. And our friend had 42. That was after, I don't know, six rounds? After six rounds, he had only 42 points. So he won. I didn't win. In fact, I came in DFL, dead freaking last. <laughs> I had the most after each round. And, and it made me think about life. It just really made me think about um, dominoes. You know, if you ever think, when I was a kid, we used to line up. Do you remember like lining up the dominoes? And then you saw people that got really crazy and they lined up like thousands of dominoes and they'd have them hit over and then you'd watch like the spiral in and all that stuff. That's how we used to play with dominoes when I was a kid. And it was like one hit the other, one hit the other. And then if it, it was off a bit, maybe it would stop. 
But think about Mexican train in life. Think about how we have so many dominoes. Think of us starting out life with 15 dominoes. And maybe halfway through you have seven left and, and you have to use them, right? And think about going through life. And I was just thinking about this this morning. What I wanted to share is when you get to the end of your life, regardless of when it happens or what it is, is I hope that I don't have any more dominoes left at the end of my life. I hope that I've used them all, everything. I hope I don't leave anything on the table. So let that resonate for a moment. Now, of course, maybe this is maybe a stretch to talk about dominoes and life, but think about it. If you want to win at life, right? Do you want to have stuff left over like that you didn't do or you weren't able to do and you had these like these domino pieces left, things that you kind of left on the table? And it's interesting, right? Because when you win at dominoes, you have nothing left. You're done at the end. Like when you use up all of your dominoes. So my question to you is, in life, um, do you feel like you're leaving a lot on the table right now? Do you feel like you're leaving, so to speak, a lot of dominoes on the table by not being able to use them? So, or not, maybe you're not, you don't have the ability to use them. So I think of a lot of people that come into um, my coaching program and a lot of people who are on a healthier path, a lot of people trying to lose weight, trying to get in better shape, and then they go through life and they're not able to do the things. In other words, they're not able to use the dominoes. Let's just, so to speak, let's say here, let me just go here. Oh, of course, that's going to be there. So they have, you know, they have this. They have this domino. They want to do this, and they can't. They can't match it up. So they got to find one to match it up here, and then maybe some of this. And, and you're left with these domino pieces, so to speak, at the end of life, and you're not. You just hadn't been able to do that. And just made me think about um, dominoes as is in life in general. It's like and I sucked at it, and it made me really come. Like man, I don't want to lose. I was a sore loser. No, I wasn't a sore loser. But just thinking about how many, look at how many points I had left. Two hundred twenty-seven points. I know for a fact, for me personally, is I don't want to and have my life, live my life without putting it all out there, putting it all on the table leaving it all out there. And how do I do that? Is to be the best, the healthiest, the fittest I can possibly be. Really, I'm not saying like uh, cover model, any of that. I'm talking about just being well enough to do the things that I want to do, to live the life that I want to live. And a lot of people come and, and, and ask for my help and they say, hey, Mark, I need your help. Or they don't really say I need it, but I really want it because I want to be able to do these things in life. I don't want to be able to not do these things when I retire. I don't want to be able to not play with my grandchildren or go on vacations or do fun. You know, I don't want to, to go on a vacation and sit in my hotel room or on a nice beach and not, you know, feel comfortable even going outside and sitting on a beach in uh, in, in a bathing suit or even with a cover up on, I want to actually be in family pictures down the road so I can have some of those memories. But now I'm deathly afraid because of the way, I, like, I don't want you to lose those or to leave those kind of dominoes on the table because then it feels like, right? You feel like you're missing out. You feel like you've lost. You feel like you're get, maybe you've even given up hope on that. I don't want you to give up hope. Today's Saturday and this is an encouraging daily dose. But it's interesting to make me think of like Mexican train and like how not to lose, how not to lose at Mexican train and how do you not lose? You become strategic. I know the guy, our friend who, um, who, who won, he was very strategic. He was very good at it. And he was very good at placing where he needed to have his dominoes go. I, on the other hand, it sucked. I was terrible at it. And I have to probably practice. And I would say is I've only played it a handful of times. And I would say they, that, not to say that the only reason, because he's a very smart guy. Um, but I would say is it's definitely when you start to play and you start to figure out where your dominoes in life need to go and you just, guess what? Part of those dominoes, think about this, part of it isn't health, isn't taking care of yourself. Now, it may not be the highest priority right now. And maybe, it, maybe you don't feel it should be. I get it. But think about if you did put yourself and your health at a high priority, think about the dominoes that you would have left at the end of life. Maybe maybe you can't step up on that ladder of your business or as far as get to the next level in maybe um, in the role you have at your job. Maybe you want to be the CEO or the manager or something. Maybe you just don't have the energy. You can step up and, and maybe work a little bit harder to get there. Maybe that that is the one thing that's keeping you away from you getting to that next level. Maybe it's regarding your health. Maybe you want to be able to do fun things with your family, but you feel like you're missing out and you're just not at that level. You just haven't been able to match that domino up, so to speak. Maybe it's with your family and relationships. Maybe it's with your spouse. Having that really good physical relationship 
relationship with your spouse and you're just, again, leaving it on the table. So I don't want you to go through, it's my little story of dominoes. I don't know if it resonated with you. Uh, this is gonna be my nemesis. Uh, it's actually a really fun game and uh, Mexican train dominoes also learn to play Skippo. Never played that, I have to check it out. What else do you guys like? I'd love to hear what kind of games are you playing and hey maybe you're just trying to play this whole game of weight loss and fitness and you you don't understand it and while I don't have all the answers again I'm not necessarily the only coach that's out there I am the right coach for the right person I do provide a way to help you understand where your dominoes can fall when it comes to losing weight and getting in shape if you want to know more about that um, you can just shoot me a private message we can have a conversation about it I don't I don't ask you to maybe drop it in here so nobody needs to know your business um, that's it. You know what? <laughs> I will say I wasn't a sore loser. I was definitely disappointed in losing. I was de definitely dif disappointed in coming in last. But like we were saying last night, you're either first or you're last. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Nobody remembers who came in second or third. You either win one or you're, or you're last. And I happen to be last. I, I hope... I hope that at the end of your life, however many more years you have, that you don't come to the end of your life and you realize, man, I left all these dominoes. I left all these numbers, like these these points. I left all these points that I could have used in my life. And you know what? It's, it's, it's my own fault. I didn't strategically use them the way I should have to truly win. So I hope you don't. I hope it is something that you win and you give everything you have. You are able to you're able to give everything you have because you're able to give to yourself what you need to have everything that you want in life. So anyway, take care. I hope this helped and uh, God bless. Oh, listen, uh, if you're not in our Bulletproof Fit Christians Over 40 free Facebook group, go over there. My wife and I, um, she, she and I did a training for my inner circle and that was Wednesday night and we got deep and dived into the hormones and, and, and my students asked questions and we kind of dug in there because as you get older, hormones definitely become a challenge, whether it's with low testosterone or if you're working with hormones, if you have low thyroids, all those types of things and understanding there's a lot of confusion out there. My wife happens to be an A and R, R I always get it messed up. She's a, a nurse practitioner. She's an advanced registered nurse practitioner and she actually spent a lot of years working in women's health and specifically in natural hormones and in hormone replacement therapy and so forth, so on. Um, the questions we're going to be going over, I've already asked those who had questions on there. I actually believe, I think I had some last minute. If you had a last minute question, you can ask, but we're going to be doing that live in the Facebook group at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want access to that, go shoot over there. If you're not in the group, I don't know why you're not in the group yet. So go go jump over into the beep it's called bulletproof fit christians over 40 you can search it in groups in facebook jump in join and join us live at 10 a.m we'll be going over hormones and some of the, the top questions that that come up with re regarding hormones and of course weight loss and fitness anyway take care god bless and maybe i'll see you at 10.